Welcome back, episode four of Meal with the Misses, and for the first time, we're not doing an actual meal. We're gonna go off the board, do a little bit of baking. You've noticed a trend here during this quarantine period that you'd like to flesh out on today's episode. Yes, I have noticed a lot of people making banana bread, and so we are going to show you our recipe for banana coconut muffins that we've been making for years, even before you've gone paleo. Uh, so. <laughs> All my various uh, trends and tricks. <laughs> yes. uh, but it's a wonderful recipe for the kids to get involved. Uh, Lucas loves to eat them as well, and there's no added sugar, which is a nice benefit. You got this recipe from some friends of ours, a family, the Shorts from Colorado, that we've mined quite a bit for, for some of our favorites. <laughs> yes, we were out visiting them a few years ago, and when we came back, I Googled a recipe that was similar to what Rachel had made for us, and we've been enjoying it ever since. Yeah, so shout out to Rachel, and enjoy as we show you step-by-step -step how to put together these muffins. We have our three ripe bananas. Ripe is the key word. Um, don't try to do two or four. I've done it before. Three is the magic number. We're going to mash those up. I like to just use a potato masher until they're nice and almost liquidy. Um, then we're going to get to our other ingredients, which includes coconut oil. Make sure that it is melted. You can either put it in the microwave like I do. I typically do about 45 seconds to a minute at half power. Then we're going to also add our honey and our applesauce. I use unsweetened again to just reduce the sugar. Once we have our coconut oil that has been melted, we're going to add that as well. Then we're going to add our vanilla and then our final wet ingredient is going to be three eggs. And then once we have all of our wet ingredients together, I like to mix them up just a little bit. Our dry ingredients include baking soda, cinnamon, a dash or two of salt and then the flour again we use coconut flour if you don't have coconut flour we have substituted before almond flour um, and you can try if you want with different uh, gluten-free flour or regular if you'd like um, you will see in the recipe for this that they also add shredded coconut i am not a fan of shredded coconut and so we don't use that in ours but please feel free uh, if you want to get the kids involved, they can help with stirring. Uh, Lucas also loves to put the muffin cups into the containers as well. And then we're going to fill them about three quarters of the way. Um, you're typically going to get about 15 to 18. And then we're going to put it for 35 minutes at 300 degrees. Once that 35 minutes is done, use a toothpick just to test it, make sure that it comes out clean, and then enjoy. It's a pretty light snack, I'll just say, from the consumer standpoint. It's good for the morning, it's good for the afternoon. I especially love them pre-exercise, a good little boost there to the blood sugar, and even late at night. And you have some, some fat, you have some protein, you have some carbs, so it's a really nice combination, and uh, we find it to be really a jack of all trades when it comes to some of your baked goods. I think it's my favorite thing. You have a constant supply of these in the freezer, just yes. in case. Yes, and like we said, uh, there's no sugar added. So for kids, they have no idea that they're really <laughs> just eating honey and you know unsweetened uh, applesauce. So Lucas loves them and hopefully your kids will love them too. Uh, thank you again for sharing with us. Thank you for watching. As always, the full recipe is on my Patreon site, right on this page if you're watching it there, patreon.com. Matt Geica Media, in case you're finding this on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter even. We'll talk to you next time on Meal with the Misses.